Hey, it's Tesla Connect. Welcome back to another video. As a Canadian Tesla YouTuber, one of the most frequent questions I get asked is what is the range like in the winter time? So what I want to do here today is just like a real world uh, test. It is currently uh, minus 18. I just pulled the car out of the um, garage. So it's registering uh, minus 11 degrees Celsius. Uh, so it takes a little bit of time for the car to adjust, but um, let's just say it's pretty freaking cold. Now, I want to give you the real deal, right? So I have not preheated the car. Um, I just got in the car. I switched the uh, climate to manual. Uh, I Yeah, so this is kind of like your worst case scenario. This is where you're going to get the worst um, energy consumption. Uh, Normally what you would do, what I do, is that I charge my car to about 85% overnight. And in the morning, when I get up, I move it to 90%. So the battery starts heating up and charging before I leave to go to work. And I have a pretty long commute. It's 100 kilometers each way. So that's why I charge it up to that uh, state of charge. Um, so... Yeah, in that scenario where, you know, the battery's kind of been preheated, um, you know, I'm able to get to work, you know, 100 kilometer trip and at about a 30% range loss. In this particular test here, <laughs> I'm expecting that we'll probably see closer to 50% because the other worst case scenario is when it's this cold, no preheating and you go for a short drive. And that's what we're going to do today. I've got the consumption. Um, graph up here which we will uh, be taking a look at as we go along and um yeah let's get started let's go for a drive and let's see what kind of consumption our starting point 88 percent state of charge um you know i've got the temperature set to 20 degrees celsius it's where i normally put it um so i'm not going to dial it back what i will do is just to i usually have it if i'm in the situation i have the seat warmer on the second setting. That's it for the settings. Um, other than that, everything's pretty much standard. Let's get going. Ooh, nice and crispy. <laughs> these, uh, I like these crisp mornings because there's actually no wind. And when there's no wind, believe it or not, minus you know, 11 here or minus 18, whatever the real uh, ambient temperature is outside, it's probably closer to minus 18. I would, I would trust what uh, I'm seeing here on my Google. Um, when there's no wind, it's 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 very crisp. The air feels very clean, and you don't feel the cold because there isn't any wind. All right, so I'm going to set this to. Uh, should we do instant range? <laughs> Let's try that. She's a little slippery. All right, so rated range uh, would be 150, um, 150 watt hours kilometer is rated. And uh, yeah, you can see uh, we're getting, oh, we just jumped over 400. <laughs> which I'm expecting there's been no preheating no nothing and we're going on a short trip but you asked me for the real deal I'm going to give you the real deal in the worst possible case scenario okay now you can see we're registering a minus 14 on the uh, on the console <laughs> okay we're almost up at 600 uh, watt hour kilometer. I'm going to fast forward uh, when I edit this video, obviously, as well. Okay, so we can see that it really spiked up um, when we got going. 
it's not too surprising battery is pretty uh, pretty dead cold here right now parking it uh, in the garage overnight really helps uh, I I do know uh, many of my Tesla friends who uh, park outside and uh, the car just gets much colder right like um, you saw that after I took it off out of the garage it was minus 11 and now it's minus 15 so it is it is warmer in your garage and that will help if you are able to park your your Tesla in, in, in a garage so all right so as you can see though we've uh, we've kind of leveled out on our consumption here and it might actually be performing better than I anticipated flip over to the stats here so far we've done 4.4 kilometers 227 watt hour kilometer <laughs> this is not bad this is uh, this is way better than I expected maybe I don't have to preheat my battery all the time this is actually pretty good Now, one of the other things that I'll point out is that I've got barely any regen, which is to be expected as well. Now the other thing too that I'll point out is that I'm not on a freeway right now, it's just a highway. The speed limit is 80 kilometers. I've been doing around 90. Um, so your consumption obviously is gonna be higher on a freeway, but I, I am really impressed right now. I was not expecting this, uh, this result because I always preheat. All right, I'm gonna pull in here and uh, We'll take a look at the stats in greater detail. All right. So uh, let's take a look here. So uh, 6.9 kilometers, 11 minutes, uh, 195 watt hour kilometer. I cannot believe this. This is a fantastic, this is, you know, rough math is this is about a 20, 25% I'll have to do the math. 25%, uh, you know, range loss at minus uh, 16C. I, wow, I don't know. These, maybe the latest software updates have uh, done something to dramatically improve things here, but uh, I'm actually very surprised by this result. It's a fantastic result, and it's more proof out there that uh, Tesla cars just keep getting better over time, and that includes winter driving in these sub zero. Uh, celsius uh days so there you go um this is the real deal if you this is what to expect if you're thinking of buying a tesla you live in a northern climate you're a little bit concerned about cold weather don't be tesla connect over and out